You know, what families are going through now, I once had to go through that um, same system and it's very difficult to, to find a way out, but um, now that I'm in this position that I'm in, it's, it's very important for me to, to help the people that are struggling and um, that was the main reason why the letter was, was written and, you know, my mum, she'd done, she done the best she could. I remember we used to go to a shop called um, Pound World and everything was under a pound and, you know, we'd sort of schedule out the week so we'd get seven yoghurts and you can have one yoghurt a day and, and so on. So she she done the best she could within the circumstances. But there's some families out there like me that have four or five kids, so it's literally impossible for, for her to... To, to take control of the situation. You know, that this is all going on at a time where kids should be concentrating on schoolwork and and stuff like that. And it's just crazy to think that this this is still going on at this you know, we're in two thousand and twenty now and it's just something that I don't believe should be should be happening. Something I, I wonder when I when I read the letter, when you were growing up, do you remember being hungry? Yeah, of course. Um but I also understood. Um maybe it was just part of me growing up, I, I, I just knew how hard that my mum was working. Anyway, so, you know, I'd never moan, I'd never do anything. If there's food on the table, there's food on the table. If there's not, I, I had friends that understood my same situation and maybe it was possible for me to go to their house, get some food or whatever. I know that you've written this letter from the heart. Tell me what you hope you might be able to achieve. Well, basically, I'm just hoping that the government make a, make a U-turn on on the decision to, to stop the free free meal vouchers um, and I'm just hoping they do it as soon as possible really. I know they've they've mentioned that they usually do this, um, you know, this time of year, summer holidays, but because of because of COVID the situation's been completely different for, for everyone in the world. So um, you know, circumstances change. So I think, you know, for at least summer holidays they have to be in a being be willing to, to make that decision to, to go back on themselves.